We are uh, hanging out in the gear set. Me and my man Jimbo of Precision you got it, Good buddy. morning. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Hey, there's some fresh snow on the ground. <sighs> that always excites me so yeah, much. I absolutely. love power. March is here and with vengeance, I no guess. Doubt, I mean, no it doubt. is throwing a lot of accumulation at us. Yeah. So what does that mean then for the resorts and for your own skiing? I mean, Great what? skiing. Great, Great skiing. skiing. It's soft, it's quiet, and uh, it's a good time to think about maybe trying a new ski if you haven't uh, had that an opportunity good. to ski some of the the new technology. Uh -huh. uh, now what you have in your hand, that is not new neck. This is not right new. This is, <laughs> is not a not new ski, but it's although bike. it's not that old. Yeah. It's uh, 74 millimeters under, uh, under uh, foot here. So it's a little bit narrower, more of a sure. front side ski. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a traditional ski in, uh, in the, the sense that what you see here is a little gap in between the two skis when you yep. put them together and they contact up here. This is called camber. Okay, when the when there's a little gap in between the skis based okay. on the on the shape. Right. There's there's a new concept out there. A lot of people have heard about it. A few people are a little confused about it, but it's called Rocker, and uh, Rocker has been around for many many years. We were talking in uh, Super G and downhill skiing mm -hmm. uh, speed events. The skis have always had a little extra bend up in the shovel to make the skis a little bit more pliable, a little bit more forgiving when you're going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour and some of those speed right. events uh, need a little bit of uh, forgiveness every sure. once in a while. So rocker is, uh, would be a splay like that, a bend in the, in the ski. Yeah. And the manufacturers now have started experimenting with, with different types of rocker concepts. Well, and uh, yeah. you know what, what rocker does is if the skis are bent up a little bit, um, if you ski directly into a mogul, the, the skis absorb some of that shock and they I don't see. transmit okay. it to the skier. If you're skiing in powder, already it's clear the skis are starting to, to help you to, yeah. uh, to climb up out of the powder. And if you're skiing uh, uneven snow, broken snow, again, that, that shock isn't transmitted to, uh, to the skier. So, you know, there's different concepts out there. Uh, I had uh, someone come into the store and ask about Rocker, if we right. had Rocker skis to rent. And I said, well, of course, we've got, yeah. quite, got quite a few different models. And, and then the next question was interesting. The, this customer said, uh, well, what do you do then? Do you, do you rock on them? How do you rock on them? <laughs> and that's not really what happens. No. You know, it's like with, a, with that little bend and <clears throat> the salon is kind of interesting, the amphibio, because if you look on this side of the ski, You've got traditional camber, okay. and up here, right. this is the, the point to really check right here. But if you turn it around this way, you see a little space in there. So this is a little yeah. bit of, uh, of rocker that makes the ski easy to turn. It's on the outside edge. So you have the inside edge with camber for edge grip, the outside edge with a little bit of rocker for easy turning. As an interesting combination, which really sounds like too that there's a lot of benefits to it, like you were saying. It's like two start... skis in one. It here, sounds like, yeah, you that's know, pretty, and uh, that's pretty great. <clears throat> here's K2's concept, uh, uh -huh. what they call their all-terrain rocker, and it's just in the shovel. And you can see here the the splay in the skis is a little bit more. This would be right. no rocker here, and there's all the the rocker that you that. can yeah. see quite can see quite, uh, quite easily. Right. And then uh, here, as you get up into look. some wider, uh, right. wider these are shapes. Definitely, uh, as you've heard a lot on the hills these in the last couple of seasons, that fat ski. This is a, quite a bit of a fatter ski for somebody, especially at this length of ski. Right. It's not a very long ski. And then you can see that the, the shovel. Is yeah, yeah, the, there's the, a the shovel. There's a there's a lot it. of splay there. Yeah. And look at this. It's in the tail as well. Okay, so, so what that about a does control, is it, 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 it seems like then the disadvantage to this ski is that you won't may necessarily be able to turn as sharply as you can. So what's really the benefit on this turn, or am I just well, you know, the, on one of the things that's a, that's a, a little bit uh, for some skiers to get used to is when when your skis in the binding, uh -huh. the edges are quite quite a ways out from sure. underneath. And you know to to get that sensitivity for for turning can be really enhanced with some rocker. 
Sounds like you might need to be in shape though to, to handle some of these. Skis. No, 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 they, okay, they make good. skiing easy. They'll, okay, they'll they turn do. a champ into a, from a champ. Into, you know? Excellent. All right. Well, then I need to get myself a pair. <laughs> yeah. So the manufacturers, you know, here's still camber. Uh -huh. So you you get a sense of uh, of edge grip. Okay, but great. you have easy turning, initiation with rocker in the shovel. Okay. And easy completion out of the turn with rocker in. So the So someone tail. like myself who's looking at these and going, man, it's gonna. It looks like they're gonna be hard to control. They're not. not. The They're so easy That's to great. ski. And then the same kind of thing can be said about these. These are some wild looking skis. Yeah, that's Tell Solomon's BBR. That's a, a new concept ski. It's been uh -huh. out a couple of years. Yep. It's got a lot of uh, uh, shovel rocker. No rocker in the tail, but it has a very narrow tail okay. compared to the tail. Not tip. a whole lot of switch skiing on this, huh? No, no, <laughs> probably not today anyway. Um, but uh, what this, this ski does is the, the forte of the ski is great in powder. It, uh, it does all the, the things that rocker can do for you. Mm -hmm. But then when you get on a uh, more uh, firm snow surface, uh, the ski's a little bit narrower here and you have great carvability wow. thanks to the narrow tail. That's great. So and the manufacturers are, are doing a lot of experimenting. We're the ones that are gonna benefit over the, over the next few absolutely. years of, of rocker technology and new concept shapes ski geometries that's going to make uh, skiing on the hill a whole lot of fun. Wow, that sounds great. And uh, well, you can find all this great technology and uh, the latest and greatest all at Precision Ski. Remind us where we can find your shop, Kendo. Yeah, we're on Summit Boulevard in Frisco across from uh, Walmart uh, complex right next to Cammy's mm -hmm. Yogurt. Easy to find right there. You can get your skis tuned up, the ones that you currently have, or if you're interested in checking out a uh, demo package, well, you can take some brand new skis out on the hill and see what this new technology could uh, really open up for you exactly. on the hill. We've got a great sale going on. All our demos are for sale. Oh, excellent. And our skis and bindings, are all, or our boots and bindings are all on sale as well. Excellent. So nice. we got a lot going on. There you there. are. Come on down. Gotta check it out. Jimbo, thanks so much for all coming right, in here that. this morning. I and tell us about the skis here, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break, be back with more more so sunrise, don't go too far.